Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I'm gonna to be swatching three luxury items and they are all by Christian Louboutin. These are all lipsticks by him and I think that they are so beautiful. I feel like there's not a lot of videos on them on YouTube, a lot of people really using them and I really wanted to kind of give you my opinion on them and show you the colors that I have here. They were a gift from my dad and I thought why not just share them with everybody and show you what they look like. I did not purchase them myself. They are very expensive. So for those of you that want to know if they're worth the money, then please continue watching this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments. For those of you who don't know who Christian Louboutin is, he is a French fashion designer. The shoes that he has created have red lacquered soles. So if you've seen them out in person or if you've seen them online on Pinterest or Instagram, they have red bottoms and they're so, so eye-catching, beautiful. And that's his signature basically with his shoes. On Sephora, they do sell the Christian Louboutin makeup line. The only thing in the line right now is lipsticks and also nail polish. All of the products on Sephora by Christian Louboutin are luxury items, so they're super expensive. Luxury makeup is definitely not for everyone. There's not a lot of people that would spend 90 bucks on a lipstick, and if you're one of those people, that's fine. Everybody's different. Some people would, some people definitely wouldn't. They're kind of like everyone's makeup item that they want, but they don't know if they should get because it's almost a hundred bucks for a lipstick. This lipstick that I have here is $90 and it's the one I am wearing right now. So if you guys would like to see that, please continue watching and I'm gonna swatch three colors. Before I get into that, I wanted to share with you guys, I am doing another giveaway. And for this giveaway, I am giving away the Estee Edit Gritty and Glow palettes. These are so beautiful. They have like kind of like a duochrome shade for the eyes and then for the face. They have like a couple shades of blush and bronzer and highlighter and I think they're so pretty. So if you guys would like to enter my giveaway, please stay tuned until the very end of this video and I will go over all of the giveaway rules. Just make sure you stay tuned. I quickly wanted to announce the winner for the Sweet Peach giveaway and the winner is Darcy1981. So I will be reaching out to you, Darcy, and you will have a day to reply. And if you don't, then I will have to pick another winner, but I am so excited for you. And thank you so much for entering my giveaway. All of you, thank you so much. You will all have your chance to enter again. I'm gonna be doing one pretty much in every Every tutorial this month so don't worry you're gonna have more than enough chances to enter I'm very excited for you guys and thank you so much for being a part of these holiday giveaways I really wanted to give back this month and I'm so glad you guys are enjoying them and appreciate them that means a whole lot to me all right beauties so be sure that you like this video if you do enjoy it subscribe and share with friends and be sure when you subscribe to hit the bell button next to the subscribe button this is gonna turn on notifications so every time my video goes up you guys are notified and you can watch it as soon as possible I really don't want you guys to miss anything right now just because I'm doing a lot of giveaways I don't want anyone missing out and just because the new YouTube algorithm is kind of confusing and a lot of you Haven't been seeing my videos lately So I really want to make sure that you do and that you guys stay engaged especially right now All right So if you guys would like to see these swatches on the Christian Louboutin lipsticks, then please continue on watching So when you receive this from Sephora if you do buy it from there You're gonna receive it in this beautiful box and this is what it looks like inside. It's so breathtaking gorgeous I haven't seen anything that looks like this it almost looks like a perfume I would have to say and it's just so beautiful I think that the packaging is just amazing and you could also keep this in here if you're just using this for a short period of time for special occasions if you're not using it every day you could totally keep this box which I plan on doing I mean look at that so when you take it out of the box it does come with a little string on it and you could actually wear this as a necklace. Not really sure how many people would wear this as a necklace, but I do think it's really cute. If you did want to carry your lipstick with you, instead of putting it in your purse, you could wear it as a cute little necklace. Or you could just take the string off and use it by itself. You don't really need to keep this on, but I think it's kind of unique. It's a very different type of touch. I mean, I really don't know how many people would, but I think it's cute and I think it's very unique. So when you open up the lipstick itself, it's really beautiful. It's just got a nice shape to it. It's very, very nice. It's very heavy. I would have to say it's a very heavy tube. I really haven't seen a lot of lipsticks ever that look like this. Actually, I really don't think I've ever seen a lipstick that looks like this at all. And it comes in this really pretty gold type of packaging. It's very pointy. So the first color that I'm gonna try is called Ron Ron, and this is a number 310. So all the lipsticks that I'm trying on today are silky satin lip colors. They do come in mattes and they come in another formula, but these are all silky. Although in the tube, they do look really, really matte. Like just by looking at this I would think that this was a matte lipstick I would not think it was like a satin lipstick so I'm just gonna try this one on without any lip liner I did not line my lips I don't have anything on
This one I really, really love. I love shades like this because it's kind of like a purpley pink. I find these lipsticks to be so moisturizing, which is why I really do like them. I think they're super nice for this time of year, especially when it's cold outside and your lips get really dry or they're cracked a lot. I feel like if you do suffer from dry lips, this lipstick would be amazing. If you do look at the tube after you apply it, it has some gloss on the lipstick, which really shows how moisturizing it really is. It's just very glossy. It's very soft. It's kind of like a really Really nice chapstick if that makes sense and although chapstick is more affordable than this lipstick you can't find chapsticks that have this type of color just one swipe of this and you get so much color and I just took it off with just a makeup wipe and my lips still feel really soft they don't feel dry and they just feel like very moisturized so this next shade is really beautiful this is a red it's another satin the name for this one is really interesting and I wish I could pronounce it but I'm gonna try my best it's spelt you be you UPU. UPU. I have no idea if that's correct. It's just spelled that way. UPU. So I'm just going to try this one on. And this is a really beautiful red. Um, like I said, it looks matte in the tube and you would think it would be a matte lipstick, but it's actually a satin and it's very glossy. I would definitely say this color is more like an orange than a red, although it's really pretty. It is a very orangey shade. So if you don't like orange, you probably wouldn't like this kind of red. It reminds me of MAC um, Morange. If you've ever tried that lipstick, it looks a lot like it. And overall, I do like the shade. I think it's really nice. It feels the exact same as the other lipstick. Very glossy, very moisturizing, and overall feels like heaven when you apply it this is what it looks like it's just so pretty and you can see how moisturizing it is if you look at the tip of the lipstick it's just kind of glossy right now so this last shade i have is called Sevillana, and it's number 400 this is what it looks like it looks really dark but it actually goes on a little bit more light than what it appears in the tube it's a little bit more of like a grape so i'm going to swatch it on my lips All right, so this color I really love. I did find it, it was a little bit hard to apply just because it was a little bit patchy. A lot of the dark lipsticks that I do own, they do get somewhat patchy, so I can't really say that this one sucks in comparison to my other ones. I also find it hard to apply this lipstick sometimes because it doesn't come with the lip liner. And with a glossy type of lip, if you're trying to line your lips first, with this lipstick, it is super glossy, so it's gonna kind of slip around your lips and not be as easy to apply as a lip liner. So I do recommend using a lip liner for these lipsticks first and then going right over top because if you're trying to line with this it will be a little bit tricky if it was the matte formula i don't think it would be a problem but because this is glossy it's not going to be as easy all right so i am going to remove this color as you can see they don't stain your lips i've had this lip color on for a few minutes and normally a dark shade would stain your lips but this one actually did not so i'm going to go back in with ron ron which is like the purpley mauve color all right so i do think these lipsticks are so beautiful if you look at this packaging it's just absolutely breathtaking so unique so different very durable it's very heavy it feels expensive so if you're paying 90 bucks for a product you really need it to feel that way look that way and perform that way i haven't tried a lipstick actually that feels this moisturizing before i have so many lipsticks and i've tried so many different kinds but this one to me is probably the most moisturizing, the most silky and soft that I own personally. I was lucky enough to get these as a gift from my father, but if you did have the money to purchase these lipsticks and if it's not gonna break your bank or it's not gonna hurt your wallet too much, I would definitely say to try one, get one color and try it, see how you like it. If you don't like it, you can always return it. Sephora does offer returns. I do think it's really nice for this time of year and if you're outside in the cold, I feel like it would be really, really nice to just have this glossy lip on that's not going to dry your lips out it's not going to make your lips look really cracked or dry it's just very flattering this time of year so yeah i do like these i really think they're different they're nice they're soft they're very pretty and stunning so i don't really have a lot of bad things to say about them other than what i mentioned in this video okay so now for the giveaway i really wanted to go over some rules with you guys i've gotten a lot of comments about a lot of you that want to enter but you don't have an instagram so what you can do is make sure that you're subscribed first so if you're not hit the subscribe button because you need to be subscribed in order to 
enter my giveaway. The second rule is you want to up your chances. You could follow me on Instagram at Victoria Lynn Beauty. All right, so go ahead and click the link in the description box and that will take you to the area that you need to enter in. This will also have a list of rules you can use as a guide to up your chances in winning. If you complete all of the rules, you have a much higher chance of winning over someone who does not. So be sure to complete as many as you possibly can. And also be sure to tag two of your friends in the photo that I post of this particular look. I'm glad I could open this up to both YouTube and Instagram because they're both really important platforms and I really want you guys to have your chance. If you did not win my last giveaway, then don't worry. I'm gonna have some more this month. I'll be doing one in every video. So just look out for them. And if you haven't subscribed, please do because you really don't wanna miss out on any of these giveaways that I'm doing. I'm trying to give away as much as possible. I have a lot of makeup. I really don't need that I would love to give back to you guys. So just make sure you're subscribed and you turn my notifications on so you don't miss any of my videos. All right, beauties. So I hope you enjoyed the Christian Louboutin lipstick swatches and if you did don't forget to like subscribe and share and i will see you all in my next video